What's going on? K Pasa. TP Link's smart security camera answers that question for me. The KC200 camera keeps an eye on my property and notifies me whenever it spots potential trouble. Hello, my name is Ron Z. I'm evaluating a free demo unit supplied by TP Link for testing, review, and feedback. This is an independent real review that was not approved, edited, or even seen by TP Link prior to being posted. My presentation gives you the flavor of the KC200, illustrates its capabilities, and demonstrates how it's set up. This is an unboxing, review, teardown, disassembly, and setup tutorial of an outdoor security camera. It's TP-Link's CasaCam KC200, a value leader with the best performance to price ratio. Motion and sound detection triggers video recording to a free, secure cloud storage account. Video clips are sharp up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The free CASA smartphone app immediately notifies me when events are triggered. Twelve infrared LEDs automatically illuminate the landscape at night. The camera is weatherproof for outdoor use. It works with Alexa and Google Assistant voice commands. Digital privacy is important. KC200 video footage is protected and kept as secure and private as possible by bank-grade encryption of the video stream right from the camera. 128 AES with SSL TLS. The KC200 is nicely and elegantly packaged. The camera is encased in a 2.9-inch globe, stands 3.4 inches tall, and weighs 10.9 ounces. Also in the box are a magnetic mount, plastic mounting plate, USB power adapter, plastic envelope containing mounting hardware, a welcome to CASA quick start guide, and a GNU license notice booklet. Once the desired camera angle is established, the powerful magnetic mount holds the camera securely in place. The camera is weatherproof, rated at IP65. It's dust tight and can withstand water streamed at 3.3 gallons per minute by a quarter inch water nozzle from three yards away for at least 15 minutes. The 9.5 foot USB cable is permanently affixed to the camera to ensure waterproofing. The mounting hardware includes six Phillips head screws, six plastic anchors, and four plastic cable clamps. The KC200 allows me to watch my front porch on my smartphone live streamed from anywhere. The free CASA app on my smartphone also notifies me whenever the sound level exceeds an adjustable threshold or movement occurs. Up to four motion activity zones can be set up to restrict the camera's field of view. The KC200 incorporates a built-in microphone and speaker, so I can give directions to delivery people. It's been very handy with UPS and FedEx deliveries. There's even a siren that I can activate to deter an unwanted intruder or a thief trying to grab a package that was left on my front porch. Siren volume is 80 dB at 1 meter. In addition to the one-page quick start guide that's included in the box, a more detailed 18-page CasaCam outdoor user guide is available on the internet. A decent amount of free cloud storage for recorded video clips is generously included with the camera, enough for the typical home user. Subscription upgrades are available. If you are comparing a competitor's free cloud storage, check that it's for video and not just snapshots. The camera's image sensor is 1 over 2.7 inches. The lens has a focal length of 3.21 millimeters, an f2 aperture, and a 130 degree viewing angle. Maximum camera resolution is 1920 by 1080. Video streaming is up to 1080p. I use 720p. 
12 infrared LEDs surrounding the image sensor provide night vision up to 25 feet. There is a green LED indicator on the front. The video zoom capability is 6 times for 720p and 8 times for 1080p. A microphone and speaker are built in. The microphone picks up sounds clearly up to 20 feet away. Audio compression is AAC. Video compression is H.264. The camera uses High Silicon's professional high-end HI3516 Full HD IP camera, SOC chip, system on a chip. MediaTek's MT7610 UN chip provides dual band 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz 802.11 BGN and AC Wi-Fi connectivity. The USB power adapter output is 5 volts DC at 1 amp. The CASA app required by the KC200 and other TP-Link smart home devices is available for free at the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. CASA is for mobile devices running Android 4.1 or higher or iOS 9.0 or higher. I run CASA on Android 4.2 tablets and Android 8.1 smartphones. The CASA app walks you through the KC200 do-it-yourself installation, step by step. Starting CASA takes you to the Devices screen. There are five icons on the top toolbar. Devices, Cameras, Scenes, Smart Actions, and Activity. Devices shows all the smart home products which are under CASA control. A new device is added by tapping the plus icon. Select cameras to view live streams in portrait mode, in full screen landscape, or to configure a camera. Within live stream, the siren can be triggered. That's the speaker icon. A two-way conversation initiated. That's the microphone icon. Or a video recording manual started. That's the red dot. Video quality can be selected via the CASA app. Best. 1080p high definition, better 720p high definition, or good 360p. Higher quality video looks better, but requires a faster internet connection and uses more cloud storage. On the top right of the live stream screen is an icon for device settings. This is where you edit the device name, set up activity zones, configure privacy and sensitivity, video quality, night vision, the siren, and the state of the status LED. Under privacy and sensitivity, select what to record, video or both audio plus video. Set motion and sound sensitivity, whether to only record motion when it exceeds a selected duration, the video quality, night vision, automatic, off, always on. The siren can be enabled, disabled, volume set to high, medium, or low. Siren durations of 30 seconds, 2 minutes, or 5 minutes. From live screen, the siren can always manually be turned off. Under device settings, there's also a helpful interactive do-it-yourself wall mounting guide. Below the live stream panel is where events can be scheduled to automatically turn alerts, activity clips, and camera privacy on and off. Scheduling is done by day of week and time. The activity center shows thumbnails of archived video clips, which can be watched, downloaded, or removed. The three horizontal line icon at the top left is view account. This brings up a vertical menu with five choices, My Casa, Casa Care, Settings, Help, and About. The length of my KC200 detected motion notification video clips ranges from 15 seconds to 3 minutes. The maximum recording time is 5 minutes when I manually record a live stream. Clips are encrypted for security and saved onto TP-Link's cloud storage activity center. Clips can be watched live, downloaded to a smartphone, or removed. 
When a five-minute clip was downloaded to my Android smartphone, it was saved in the download folder as a 22.9 megabyte MP4 file. Any further detailing of CASA steps would be too lengthy and unnecessary. For a good idea of how CASA works, just look at the attached screenshots in this slideshow. Here are tips on choosing a location for the KC200. If possible, install the camera in a place that's protected from direct rain and sunshine. Install the KC200 under an eave or an overhang to keep it clear of direct rain water and sunshine. The KC200's color is snow white and its operating temperature range is minus 4 to 109.4 degrees Fahrenheit. At my New York location, overheating from sunshine should never present a problem. Installing it under an eave where there is some shade minimizes heat buildup from sunshine, also glare and reflections. Before permanently installing your KC200 in an outdoor location, check that Wi-Fi signal strength will be reliable there. Test the camera live feed to see that there is no glare from lights and that motion from plant leaves will not trigger false alarm notifications. The camera should be mounted 7 to 10 feet high for the best view of faces and to keep it just out of reach so it's safe from tampering. The USB power adapter needs to be indoors or mounted outdoors in a weatherproof enclosure. In low light situations, my KC200 automatically switches to black and white and turns on 12 infrared LEDs, 6 on each side of the photo sensor. Yesterday night, I was able to actually see whether that noise at night came from an intruder or was merely from an annoying raccoon. It was a smart raccoon attempting to get into a garbage container. A free cloud storage subscription plan is included. Up to three cameras, two rolling days of video recording, limited to one gigabyte. That's equivalent to four hours of 1080p video clips. The allotted video history is capped by the number of days or the memory limit, whichever is reached first. Video clips contain footage triggered by the camera detecting motion or sound as opposed to dead air. Paid subscriptions are also available for more cloud storage. The free plan and 720p video is perfect for me. The KC200 voice control works seamlessly with Alexa Echo Show, Alexa Echo Spot, Fire TV Stick, and Google Assistant Chromecast video devices. I have used the KC200 for the past month. It's Wi-Fi connected to my TP-Link C5400 router. Wi-Fi connections to my KC200 and KC120 cameras have been stable and reliable. There has never been even a momentary glitch. So if anyone has a Wi-Fi camera connection issue, they should probably look into a router upgrade. There is a two-year warranty plus free lifetime 24 by 7 technical support by telephone and email. I telephone twice with some sample test questions, a weekday morning and at night. Both calls were immediately answered by knowledgeable technical support people in the Philippines. User forums on TP-Link's internet website are also a terrific resource for getting questions answered. TP-Link is the world's number one provider of consumer Wi-Fi networking devices. The KC200 can also be used indoors. The mounting plate has four non-skid pads at the bottom and easily stands securely on any flat surface like a bookcase or table. The KC200 can also be mounted on an internal wall or ceiling. At night, the infrared LEDs easily illuminate any dark room. If the KC200 is placed on a windowsill facing outward, however, the green system LED and the infrared LEDs will need to be turned off in CASA device settings. Otherwise, I saw glare and window pane reflections. With the LEDs off, illumination comes entirely from moonlight, automobile headlights, and street lights. At my suburban location, these nighttime videos were surprisingly good. 
TP-Link's family of smart home devices encompasses bulbs, plugs, switches, cameras, routers, and range extenders. The KC200 would have greater potential if it were able to interact with other CASA app TP-Link smart home devices. For example, if motion or sound detection indicated a possible burglary, the KC200 could trigger events like turning on smart bulbs, plugs, and switches. This would give TP-Link smart home devices camera control capability. They already have voice control thanks to Alexa and Google Assistant. A CASA app for Windows 10 would also be a welcome addition, as would facial person recognition. On my Android smartphone, the CASA Android app currently installs in internal memory. I'd like a future version of CASA to be optimized so the app can install in external, adoptable SD card memory. I hope you found my presentation enjoyable and helpful. Channel subscribers will receive notifications as new TP-Link product reviews are posted. Goodbye and good luck.